Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rockum Sakura. And today I'm joined by my extra special season 12 sister, the amazing and beautiful fashionista herself, Nikki Doll. Hello, konnichiwa Rakim. How are you, baby? I'm so good. Are you excited for today's fashion review? Girl, Red I thought thing? that this day would never happen. I am I am a huge fan of Card Captor Sakura. So here's a little bit of background about why we're choosing Card Captor Sakura. Reason number one is because my name is based off of the titular character Sakura from mm -hmm. Card Captor Sakura. And number two is that the first time that Nikki and I actually got to talk and meet and talk about anime, which was in the workroom, you guys got to see it on camera, for the ball challenge, we started talking about anime. And Nikki was talking about how Card Captor Sakura was one of her inspirations for drag mm -hmm. and fashion itself. And immediately right there. We clicked. We clicked. We clicked. And then both of us went home. So yep. our first look is from the second opening. And this is Sakura in um, kind of a real, regal crown, white, eggshell white, winged look. And yep. this is one of my favorite looks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh yeah. I absolutely love this. One of my favorite motifs of Card Capture Sakura is the use of the wings. Mm -hmm. Like you'll see the wings on the on the scepter, but um, they incorporated the wings into her tail coat, and I think that, like, I I always want to do that in my drag, and I think that it adds such an interesting big dynamic silhouette. Right. Well, I mean, you kind of did this with your lashes today. Pretty much, yeah. This is exactly. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a backstory for some of y'all who haven't watched or read Card Captor Sakura. Mm -hmm. It is basically a young little kid from Tokyo who happens to have a magic book in her library mm -hmm. uh, downstairs, and she opens the book. The cards with a different amount of elements uh, disappear in the world, and then she has to to catch them all, kind of like Pokemon, but make it cards. Um, and the love story is that her best friend, who is also an aspiring stylist slash designer, makes all her outfits for the fight. And so every time you see Sakura wears an amazing outfit, it is the platonic friendship love behind her. Very uh, regal and royal. Um, does it look like someone who's going to a fight? Maybe not. Um, but I, like you said, I love how the, how the, the wings are like styling elements to the outfits. I love that she has them both as, um, a skirt slash the jacket and also in the back. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a very cute, very kind of like French, like that, those shorts are very, very French, like old school French. Oh yeah. Okay. So the next one is giving me... Chun Li, mm -hmm. this look is definitely more Chinese inspired. Yeah, um, I I can see that from like the the hair pieces that she has. Also, Clamp has this thing when they do kind of like Chinese imagery. They do if you look at her gloves, they have like yeah. that kind of um, rimming around them too. Mm -hmm. Also, the big ribbons around it is very like Chun Li esque. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I agree with the Uggs. That's what I was about to say. This shoe has to go. But I love, <laughs> I love the jumpsuit under the dress or like the pants under the dress. I think it makes it like very aerodynamic and ready to fight. Um, mm -hmm. And kind of like cutesy without being sexy. Next one is one that we talk about a lot. I don't know, this outfit is a little bit confusing only because uh -huh. it's like, it's trying too hard to not be cutesy. Like this is like something like an infant would wear. This look is giving me very like um, Harley Quinn again, like very um, like clown from like the middle age. In French, we call it bouffon. It's like the, the king used to have like a buffoon to entertain him. Ah, uh, buffoon. And they would like jungle and like they would have, like they would uh -huh. do like different stuff. And that was the look that they would wear. Like that, the, those shoes with this hat, I like the swoopy curls. I think it's cute, but I don't think it's like super fashion. Right, and I think that she has other uh, outfits that kind of like wink at the Harlequin references that are better than this one. So this one is just a miss for me. Oh, well, speaking fun. of that, actually, the next one is something that still stays in the same 
uh, idea, which is uh, the Blue Star costume. And I absolutely Ooh. love this because not only I love the colors together, I never, but I think that this with the yellow works so well together. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love the hat and I love the little touches of stars everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mostly the, uh, the one uh, on the coat, you almost can hear when she moves that, that little sound like the <laughs> you know, like you know, you know that you know that outfit is, is annoying because it makes sounds everywhere. And this is after the series where she has captured all the cards, she's transformed them all and she becomes master of the cloud. The whole theme of it is like she is like a grand mage. It really, really works, especially with the way that the stars are cut out on um, on the dress, and they're also cut out on the um, on her little shoulder, like her shawl. Mm -hmm. It looks gorgeous, and also the cut of the gloves is such a good touch. So and cute. It adds good direction. I need to make this into a costume. All right, next up is one of the outfits that really just made me fall in love with the series. Oh. We're just talking about Harlequin. This is how you do it, right? Exactly. Um, this is so clean. And this basically verbatim right now is just drag. Oh, 1000%. Like you don't need to change it like very much at all. Like cinch in the waist, maybe a little bit and then she has shoulder pads she has like panties by the way his dad her dad needs to be arrested because who lets his daughter this is like not this? Her, this is not his fault this is tomeo's fault this is did you know that okay i don't know what it's like in the french version but they're cousins in the japanese version so they don't really talk about this in the english version but um in an interview with clamp they originally said that they were supposed to be the main couple yeah. Yeah, with cousins curl. <laughs> so to go to go back to this look, there's one thing very frustrating about the, the clamp outfits is that realistically to do this hat, you know you're gonna have a nightmare to recreate this. Because oh, to keep yeah. that shape is so hard. Like I've been trying to do this like hard, my initial Harlequin look was inspired by the Erase car like we talked about and that hat yeah. is exactly the same one and I couldn't figure out how to do something that long and also that print was driving me insane because I couldn't yeah. find that print in a big in a the, the big shape of it. All right next oh okay that is literally the epitome of what card capital sakura is supposed to look like that's to me is probably the one outfit that I've seen the most being cosplayed. Yeah this um, look is definitely like Hawaii, like... This is quintessential, because um, this is from the first opening. Right. It's, it's also on the cover of the first manga. Yes, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like when you when you have two colors that are very similar, that are not matching, because for example, the shoes and the bow are like ruby red, and then the dress and the hat are like pinkish red. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, it works really well here. And I, I love, 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 love the sleeves of the dress, mm -hmm. the high sock again, and the hat is just so cute. I, yeah, I love this look. It's a little too girly for me, but I think that on you, it would look absolutely amazing. I love amazing. girly. I, yeah, I like I like it. boyish, edgy, sexy looks. Like I like a, a good That's why pants. we have that video with Pain. Mm -hmm. That's why we have that video with Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy is like Nikki territory. My territory is like magical girl, kawaii cuteness. Okay, <gasps> next, next Ooh. one. This is giving me like, kind of like prima donna ballerina you know what i'm saying yeah it's giving me like and the tights uh, are stone yeah it's giving me like black swan meets Gillo at the super bowl meets like victoria's secret i'm like this is like we're getting like further and further from the anime version like this is too opulent for me like that yeah she's like she also reminds me of like that angel digimon do you remember that one i would love to make the shoulders bigger yes much poofier maybe go out a bit more uh, her style in the clear card arc, when she gets a little bit older, it mm. turns more quote unquote mature, which means that everything gets smaller and it accentuates her arms and her legs and her waist a bit more. I don't know, it's too much. It doesn't fit with her motif for me. Too uh, busy. Too busy. Yeah, exactly, too busy. Next. Next. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I love- I'm so gay. I Are love you gay? this. I'm so gay. 
I am F A G, honey. F A G. Okay, we can't. Please. I didn't say it. it. I just spelled it. And if you put an E with an accent, then it is a Greek yogurt. <gasps> I'm gonna slap you so hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I love this one because not only I think the hat is the most adorable thing ever, mm -hmm. but also this shade of green for some reason with this yellow looks really, really cute together. And I love those shorts. I actually need to make a look with that big puffy shorts. Either a big puffy short or a big puffy, uh, puffy uh, bodysuit. Okay, so the green is really cool. What do you think of it paired with the yellow? I love the I love it paired with the yellow. The only thing the only area where I'm not about the whole outfit and the color combination are the gloves. Yeah, it kind of reads like soccer goalie. Oh, you know what would have looked good too is that let's say you remove the yellow and you just keep the star, for example, yellow and you match the shoulders with the short in in white. Yeah. And that would have looked good. That would look good because the yellow peeking under, I don't know. Too I don't know, it's too yellow for me to have, it looks like pee pee pants. So in conclusion guys, pee pee la poo. Well, speaking of pee pee, the next one is giving me two condoms, honey. <laughs> what is on her head? What the fuck yeah. is going on this fucking day? Yeah, this is giving me like crystal method on acid. Like even crystal would not wear this. Like it's, it's a lot no. going on. I love the colors. I think it's like a, a, a different take on it. It's almost like Halloween-y, like the orange with the green and she the yellow. Like a carrot. This is more like a Trader Joe's carrot. <laughs> That's like a Walgreens carrot. A Walgreens <laughs> carrot that's been there for years. I personally- Not into it. No, I'm not into it either. The buttons are too big. Also, Tomio made this outfit with the intention of being able to catch, catch like run after a card that's able to run really fast. This is gonna slow her down. This is not aerodynamic. So, sorry, Tomio, yeah. you're gonna have to scrap this one. Burn this costume, use Fiery on it. All right, next one. Ooh, it's so cute. Yes, this Alice was actually the inspiration for my uh, Buttons and Bows look. And so, you know what I see here? I see Heidi's promo look. I, what side by side it is the same outfit if you think about the disney version of alice in wonderland then there's like an iconic black bow and black shoes but i feel like the over first of all the premise of the episode is that she shrinks down she gets really small changes size and and she's wearing this outfit you see but hers hers is like it looks like an actual dress when Sakura looks like she's wearing this to work. Or what I would love to have seen on this look is more of a nod to Alice in Wonderland. She, she could have had a hookah. Yeah, oh, around. she could have had a hookah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, she 12 years been, old, why not? She I could mean, have been on mushrooms. What do you think of the red bow? I like the red bow. It's a little sad, but yeah, I, I like it. Uh, go big or go home. It's like there's that big bow in the back and there's like the itty bitty bow on yeah, top. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next one. Oh, I like that. So this one is from the clear card arc, and this is actually a nod to the watery card. Oh. Here's the thing. Would you choose this look over the other one? No. Absolutely not. You're right. Let me tell you why. They try to re reverse the proportion of the hat and the skirt. Mm -hmm. When what I loved about the first look was that the hat was so long. So, so shortening, shortening the hat makes her look like a clown and, and elongating the back of the skirt makes it almost look too droopy. Some sort of dress shirt almost. And they added an extra uh, crinoline layer underneath the original skirt. And it just, it looks like the silhouette is so boring now. It looks like when you order versus when you when it arrives. Just like I actually like this, the dress. I don't like the the underskirt, no. and and the hat is a no. Yep, definitely. This is a no. Last one was better. Sorry, yeah. girl. She's losing her touch. Next. Okay. <gasps> okay. Next is the pink and blue star cape. I, the blue and the pink contrast so much, but I think that they work in the context like this is a witch. Um, compared to the other outfits, it is a lot more boring. Like she's giving me like official 
like in there in the navy or like flying <laughs> in like the she's, navy. You know, like or, or like she's a nerd. Like she's giving me nerds here again. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I think it's because of the hat. It's the hat like shape. It's, it's giving me like very hospital like hat. I actually like the hat and I love the coat. The fact that it's with a dress kind of like lose me a little bit because it's just too again it's a too like Pearl would say flazy da. Yeah, I agree. It kind of makes her look short, looks frumpy, not as interesting the, as the other outfits for me. So if I had to choose, like, this is in the bottom for me. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one is something I would wear for sure. Oh, I could totally see you in this in like a little cinched. You look, I've never seen you in drag wearing shorts, but you would look good. And because I absolutely love the boot cover. That's my favorite part. It's like a good touch to this outfit. I think that even though it's like a, a booty, it kind of cuts it off, cuts off her leg. I think it makes her legs look cool. And I like, I love the look of having big weighted shoes. Do you like um, the dish gloves? No, oh uh, yeah, that glove, that mustard color is, has nothing to do here. Like mm -hmm. what the hell? Yeah. That hat is... It's a nurse hat again. Yeah, what's wrong with, yeah. She loves she's, the nurse she's hat. Curing, she's curing the world. <laughs> but I do think the hat works a little bit better with the styling of this outfit. Yes, I agree. Uh, next, let's do the next one. <gasps> oh, I love this one! Okay, you see the bodysuit here is exactly what I try to do for my finale look. That was the shape yeah. of my, my bodysuit. I clocked that. Love, 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 love. A very well cinched bodysuit with the very puffy high, uh, tie, um, hips. Mm -hmm. I think it makes it look very cool, very avant-garde. Yeah. Um, love the sock because not only it's a high sock, but it's also so high that you can actually fold it. Do you like the shoe with it? I think that if the shoe was a heel, it'll look really sickening. She's 12, bitch. I'm never too early to wear heels. If I, if I had the option to wear heels at 12, I would. <laughs> But you can tell that this look is more like a winter look. Like you can tell she has more, she's more covered and every, all the fabric, all the material looks a little thicker. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really cute. I think so too. I think it's really cute. There's a couple elements that you would change if you wanted to do it in drag. But overall, I think that it's interesting. It's fun. It is the essence of the series. And I would wear it even with the socks. I agree. <laughs> the oh. next one! Oh. Okay, the next one is Space Cadet. Wait, bitch, I need to do this outfit right now. Beauty Jets and Hooker. This is like a, a timeless sort of um, unreal look of the future. Yes. Like Jetsons era. The bottom of the outfit looks like uh, a pool. <laughs> like a kiddie pool. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, Alexis, Alexis Mateo... Yeah, that's uh, Alexis Mateo's uh, outfit from All Stars. Cool, especially with the wings on the side at a good direction. Yes. I love the shoe as well. Oh, yeah. The it's shoe is very, like, bionic. I would buy that shoe. Oh, I would buy it too. I love that. I love I love the colors. I love the white with that acidic uh, fuchsia. I think everything is, like, in your face. And it's, it's very drag, actually. This one is very drag. Oh. Yeah, next. That's the one that Kim she did. That's right. The fun fact about this outfit is that it is um, it is electric proof. It is like shock resistant. It's made of rubber. So sure this did. is a latex fantasy kitty girl moment. I love how the outfit, she also has black leggings too. Yes. I think it's chic because of the shape of the shoulders and mixed with the shape of the peplum adds like a very like tight waisted sort of moment. Yeah. And also the cut of the bow in the back is very sophisticated. The cleavage area is like a very straight shape, which doesn't uh, sexualize the cleavage or anything like that. It's very all about dimension and couture. And, and, and I, like you said, I love the sleeves. I can see that like, it's, it's oh. very like Giambattista Valley, but mixed, but made with like, wool instead of tool. Okay, so our next outfit right here is gonna be the this puffy pink moment from the fight card. This is pastel, like kawaii in its absolute essence. It's simple, mm -hmm. it's it's poofy as like a nice big, um, as a nice silhouette. 
and the bow in the back, the little Sakura accents to it are so cute. I dress like this all the time. This look is very kawaii, but still very proper. Like she's, again, she's giving me like very Jackie Kennedy, but make it like bubble gum slash like I never kawaii. thought that someone was gonna compare Sakura to Jackie Kennedy. I mean, don't you, don't you feel? I feel like I think it's because of the show. She always have like that little hat, and it's like a, a, a particular shape. I think Jackie Kennedy had like also like those round hats. I'll show you why I say that. She, she used to always have like those hats, You're and right. she was like very card captured Sakura. Oh my God, she was the original magical girl. Jackie Kennedy, you heard it here. That's canonical. Jackie Kennedy was a magical girl. She yeah, was she cards. was always with like those <gasps> hats. Oh my God, I'm having a weird existential crisis. Am I standing, <laughs> Jackie Kennedy? And I love also the colors. I think that this shade of like champagne slash cream with this pink is uh, beautiful. It's, it's oh, like yeah. she looks like a pastry. So our next outfit that we have is the Prince costume from the Dark and Light card episode. And this is actually the inspiration for my um, uh, for my capes, fantastic Planet of, Planet of the Capes look. I wanted to do something that was very um, manly like a mm -hmm. like a prince motif but i wanted to make it feminine it's so well put together and it really just brings the essence of being a prince fashion and feminine mm -hmm. the main thing that kind of brings it into like the feminineness of it is like the how high the boots are right um, totally yeah that's the only and even like the musketeers used to have high boots with like small shorts like that so is it, it is a yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that's gay. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> when you look at them, they had like feathers on their hat. Uh, oh, giving me both like Musketeer, Prince, but also the cat in Shrek. Mm. A, I, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shape. Um, and very unusual for her. I don't think I've ever seen her with a full on cape like this before. All right, so the next one is this beautiful, beautiful blue, gold and white outfits. It's it's very reminiscent of the other look that we liked with the um, with the wing uh, headpiece, but this mm -hmm. one looks a little more like mystical. Like she looks more like a magician, like some like someone like like a, a different culture or or um, or era. And I think that I am obsessed with how short the jumpsuit is, with how high the boots are, and I love the little touch that is in the back that is like floating around. But and what puts everything together for me is like the head, the headpiece with the shoulder piece. It's mm -hmm. not overly complicated. The lines, um, the lines of the ribbons in the back, and the bodysuit give it a nice elongated shape. It really just adds to the overall length of the look. It's like her whole body is well covered and it's proper, and there's like shoulder pads under the shoulder piece. It gets just like there's a total neck, which this look is like for me. It's a little yeah. like my look. This look is absolutely gorgeous. This is, ooh, this is one of my favorites too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our last one that we're gonna look at today is the Illusion card, which is an, a, like a yellow umbrella, cyber, like future, like futuristic sort of like Metabots look is I love the neck and the shoulder pieces are so cohesive. It's like an interesting silhouette and I think it looks cool. And whenever I de design outfits, I always think of this outfit too. Really? I'm very surprised that you actually like that one because I actually don't like this one. <laughs> because uh, the, 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 the top part, which is very quarterback, if you look at it, the inside, it looks like it's made out of wood. Oh, you're which right. Is very weird to me. Uh, I love, love the gloves. I think this is the only thing that I love. I hate. Like Nicki Minaj would say, I hate, hate, hate the the the, the sock and how the the socks like ends up at the very top around. You the knee. don't like that? I, I love not. that. I do not. You like know that. why? It's because of your issue with things not being real. Like how? The yeah, fuck because you, you already know the thing is gonna fall. Like it's not gonna stay like this. Oh no! What do you think of the shoe though? The shoe is another the shoe one is of my cool. Parts. I love the shoe a lot. A um, couple things that we learned from Card Capture Sakura is when in doubt, just add a giant bow to it and it'll look cohesive. Exactly. And don't ever try to tr translate this into the real world because the shit won't look good. It's not going to happen. It's going to be too heavy. Also, if you're a 12 year old girl, um, conservative is better. Okay, what are your top looks from the ones that we looked at so far? 
My top look are uh, this one. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Uh, this one is definitely my top one. Oh yeah. Mm, that one, which is very similar in a way. Okay. But I love the futuristic slash edgy. For and then party. this one that I would turn into something a little different. Uh, but those three looks are definitely my favorite ones. So my favorite ones are, I really love the watery look. The Harlequin with yes. the giant hat is definitely, I feel like that's iconic. Um, Card Camper Sakura. I love the rubber kitten suit. Um, the rubber kitten outfit. It looks absolutely good and it translates really well into fashion. It's yes. super chic. And I would have to say for my final look, um, I agree with you on the last one, that um, that pink, uh, the, the pink dress mm -hmm. um, would look amazing in drag. The only thing I would change is the gloves. Bottoms. What are your bottoms? My bottoms are, and I, you know I, tr I treat my bottoms really with Badly. a lot of love. <laughs> well, I treat them bad when they ask me to. Yeah, uh, baby! Uh, definitely this one. Okay, that's a bottom for me too. Oh, yeah. that one's so gross. Put the, the green... condom on her head. So princess is also not it for me. Too much, too busy. And then the blue star costume. Yeah, uh, that's my... the one I was talking about. Yeah, those three are just not it for me. From the ones that we looked at, see, I have a hard time because I like them all. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pick, I would say probably the pink and blue star cape one. It's just too simple. Oh my god, I just realized how big your sleeves are. Oh, they're huge. They're so pretty. Can I have those? Can you make some for me? Oh, it's attached to my bodysuit. I want it! I had a great time um, talking about these fashions with you today, Nikki. I'm so happy that we bonded over Card Capture Sakura because... Of course. Weird thing is that every time I talk to someone else about it, nobody else has seen it. Literally, the one other person that I've talked to who's seen it was also happened to be on a, the cast of Drag Race with me. So, yep. it is And you get us now. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my nearest and dearest series to my heart, and you're one of my nearest and dearest friends, if not my most nearest and dear friend. So, oh, I love you. I love you so much. And <laughs> <laughs> so, Nikki, where can we find you? So you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, um, Cameo. You can also buy my merch at dnikidoll or dnikidoll.com. Perfect. And everything is going to be linked in the description below. Of course, if you'd like to support me, you can also support me. Send me a tip on Venmo. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, buy some of my hand-drawn merch from rock'emsakura.com. And of course, this video was made possible because of all of you Patreons. Look at all these names over here. There's names everywhere. Ooh. It's because of you guys, me and Nikki are able to have a conversation right now and make content for you. So thank you guys so much. If you would like to, you know, if you, you know, want to consider becoming a patron on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. Every time that you help donate or like, for one of these projects, it helps it grow, it helps it get bigger, it helps me and Nikki, and it helps pay for our editors, it helps us create more content. So I urge you, please, if you have the money, um, or if you'd like to support us, please become a patron on Patreon. And with that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us something, like tell us another series that you guys want us to look at, or review, or rate. If you guys please. want us to absolutely trash a series, Nikki and I love trashing the Gladly. fashion. Gladly. All right, perfect. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Make sure to visit Nikki and her YouTube page. And with that, we will talk you later. later. Bye. Woo. Love you. Love you.